Hey guys, in this video, we're going to talk about this amazing trace mineral called chromium. First of all, a trace mineral is a mineral needed in very small amounts, usually below 100 milligrams. Um, but the unique factor of this mineral is it enhances the function of insulin. So it allows insulin to work better. Now, what condition do you think that would be good for? You guessed it, insulin resistance. Because what happens when the cells start resisting insulin, this, the feedback loops that go to the pancreas then tell the pancreas to make more insulin because it's not getting through. So people with insulin resistance have about five to seven times more insulin than a normal person. So chromium allows this insulin to penetrate the cell better, improving insulin resistance. Now there's two other minerals that can, or two other um, elements that can do that. One is potassium and B1. So now we got chromium, that would be a really good combination to help someone with a blood sugar issue. It's actually called the glucose tolerance factor because it improves the tolerance of glucose. Some people have a glucose sensitivity. Well, chromium helps that. Basically, chromium helps your blood sugars, okay? Broccoli has the most chromium of any vegetable, so you should start consuming your broccoli. Brewer's yeast is another good one. Uh, eggs, grass-fed beef, green beans, turkey is very high in chromium. There's a lot of other foods that have chromium as well, or you can get, them a, get it as a supplement. Okay, so I just wanted to put that out there, and uh, definitely if you have a blood sugar issue, start taking chromium. Thanks for watching. Hey, before you leave, I just wanted to give you a little quick history on some of the books that I wrote. This was one of the first books. It's called Dr. Berg Body Shapes. It was my attempt at um, writing about body types. Uh, what was very interesting about this book is I actually did all the images myself. Uh, don't ask me why. Um, they look actually not quite as professional as some of the uh, images that I have in the new book. But anyway, this is my first attempt right here called Dr. Berg's Body Shape Diets. Uh, and then I wrote a book um, more extensive called The Seven Principles of Fat Burning. I don't even have a copy anymore. Actually, um, because it's outdated. Uh, the next book, uh, I put about a thousand hours into this one right here called The New Body Type Guide. Major updates on the body types. Uh, I put a lot of energy into this. Uh, it has professional images, graphics, all sorts of things. Now, the problem with this book is it doesn't really describe what this is really about. Body types are only a small portion of what's in this book. And that's why I changed the name to the Healthy Keto Plan. Okay, if you happen to have this book, you don't really need this book because there's some only very, very minor updates. But if you don't have this, you need to get this one right here. Um, this book goes into every single detail that you would ever want to know about. It goes into the seven principles of fat burning, it goes into hormones, uh, the body types, the basic keto plan. It goes into intermittent fasting. I talk about the 10 fat burning triggers and blockers and fat burning strategies with a lot of details in every single chapter. I go into body issues that interfere with losing weight. Um, there's very few people that just have a weight problem. They have a lot of body issues, whether it's sleeping problems, uh, stress problems, inflammation, menopause. I cover that extensively in this book. Then I talk about how to get rid of stress and I show you a technique. Uh, then I get into exercising. And then I have a lot of really good recipes in this book as well. So uh, this is a good reference guide. Um, on my website, if you get this book, you get this one free. It's called Healthy Keto Intermittent Fasting. This is the shortcut, a uh, quick guide to this book. And uh, the reason I created this book is to have you within 45 minutes learn how to do keto, okay, in intermittent fasting, exactly what you need to do. Then you can fill in the blanks with this book right here. So right now I'm doing a special. If you get this book, you get this one totally free, or you can go to Amazon and get these individually. So I just want to clarify the difference between this book and this updated one right here. If you don't have this, you need to get this right here. That way you can get the exact correct information to do it healthily.